Welcome everybody. My name is Tim Sandy and I'm a VMware Systems Engineer. In this session, I will go over what vRealize Operations 6.0 is and what it can do briefly. Then we will cover and take a close look at the different additions as well as the associated packaging options for vRealize Operations 6. So let's get started. Here's VMware's management control plane for the Software Defined Data Center. I'm sure you've probably heard of the Software Defined Data Center by now. It's nothing new. Uh, we've been talking about this for quite some time now. And this can be broken down into three core areas when it comes to management. You have policy-based automation, intelligent operations, and transparent IT business. In the IT world that we live in today, management is the key to running a successful virtualized environment. We're doing more with less, more than ever. So we need ways to be able to get better operational insight into our virtualized environment, be proactive rather than be reactive, and address issues before they actually start to affect the end users. We're going to also automate daily operational tasks to save time and get accurate insight into the real costs of running the IT department. The way to do this is by using management software that sits in the control plane like we just mentioned. So in today's presentation, we're going to focus more around the intelligent operations portion and using vRealize Operation 6 to do that. So today's reality is what operations management and the ability to achieve the goals of SLAs, efficiency, and control is a tough job. But why is that? Because of the tools that you use today, they don't really make it easy to manage the environment. There's too much data, too many alerts, leading to fire drills and finger pointing between the different departments. End users are often our best monitoring tools, and they tell us sometimes what's not working before we even know about it. In the physical world, we tend to over-provision because experience tells us that when you have enough resources, there shouldn't be any problems. If you apply this mindset to a virtualized environment, you negate the benefits of server consolidation or virtualization. So this just shows you right here, um, basically showing you that you have incoming log data and um, it, it just there's a lot of data coming in and a virtualized admin on a day-to-day -day basis has a hard time dealing with all this data and actually sifting through it all to find what's actually important and pertinent. So the big shift with vRealize Operation 6 is that we can bring consistency and parity in your analytics, your virtualizations, and the process of identifying and solving any problems that you may have. Platform is data agnostic. vRealize uh, operations can give you the capacity for storage, uh, network, and virtual machines. So it gives you the information relating to all of it, not just your virtualized environment, such as your host and your VMs, but you can also, depending on the addition, you can go in and look at, again, your networking, your storage, um, so it's a complete view of your total virtualized environment in your entire network. So let's shift our focus on operations management and look into the key goals of operations management. So we ask, why are you what are you trying to accomplish? What are you being measured against? What are you trying to deliver on? So this is some of the questions you might ask someone in the IT department or the head of an IT department. Most organizations, IT operations is focused on three goals. Delivering high quality of infrastructure or QoS, quality service, services and applications. Operate IT assets as efficiently and cost effectively as possible. And implement and adhere to IT policies, standards, and regulatory requirements. Requirements, excuse me. So those are the three core um, areas in which typically most IT departments and the people that run them are focusing on those key areas to make sure that they are running a efficiently, effectively, as well as cost effective. So let's take a closer look at what vRealize Operation 6 can do to reach the goals we just discussed so we can better understand why you might recommend one addition over the other. So first goal we discussed is intelligent operations, which is the core of vRealize Operations. It provides improved performance and ability to avoid disruption with self-learning predictive analytics and smart alerts. It also provides better visibility into your entire environment using a single user interface with out-of-the-box uh, and customizable views, dashboards, and reports. And the ability to save and commit what-if projects with enhanced capacity planning features is great insight into future capacity problems. The second is the policy-based automation. This helps you become more efficient by automating those key IT processes with policy-based control on a day-to-day -day basis. 
He also had the ability to automate the remediation of problems before they get out of control, causing large-scale outages. It then provides granular user and access control through policies to provide a better security model. And finally, we have unified management. The new architecture is a scalable and resilient platform offering high availability and ensuring continuous uptime. This version uh, offers a comprehensive visibility across applications into on-premise and various cloud infrastructures into a single interface making management effective and efficient. So now let's start looking at, again, the licensing models and the packaging associated, which is going to be the main topic of conversation. So first we look up vRealized operations, you have kind of two licensing models to choose from. The first option is sold as an a la carte or a separate product on a per OSI or VM basis. So OSI is operating system instance, which can be a physical or virtual machine. These also include Windows, Linux, and Unix operating systems. And this option is sold in a 25 VM or OSI pack. The second option is sold on a per CPU basis. The per CPU model allows for unlimited virtual machines to be monitored and is offered a part of the following packages, such as vSphere Operations Management, or vSOM, vRealize Operations Insight, be Cloud Suite and be Realized Suite. So now we're, in a minute, we're going to go into those different packages to see how they relate into the additions of be Realized operations. But first, uh, as I stated in the last slide, we have the licensing model as a standalone. So just be Realized operations by itself. Like many of our other standalone products, there's three editions. We have the standard, advanced, and enterprise. And the standard edition provides you kind of out-of-the-box performance monitoring, analytics, along with some basic capacity management, planning, as well as some uh, basic vSphere hardening, uh, compliance oversight. Then the benefit from going from standard to advanced um, is reflected in the blue text that you see there and gives you additional capabilities, such as creating customized dashboard and reports, which is usually one of the big key aspects that people are looking for. Deeper insight into SAN storage analytics, uh, application discovery and dependency information, and finally the ability to do operating system monitoring. So again, giving you a deeper look into not just the VM as a whole, but actually going into the operating system or actually down sometimes even into the applications. Then going from advanced to enterprise editions, which you see in the green text, provides the ability to monitor at a much deeper level, all the way down to application, middleware, and database level. So that's as deep as you can go. And finally, you can also the OS level configuration and regulatory compliance related to items such as PCI, HIPAA, and SOX compliance standards. Now you're gonna find that a lot of businesses such as financial institutions, healthcare instance, uh, institutions, um, they have to follow a lot of these different types of compliance guidelines. So VROPS in the enterprise edition will help them uh, ensure that their virtualized environment stays compliant by monitoring that and telling them when something falls out of compliance. So now when we think of vRealize operations as far as in that are bundled in with other uh, products, so these bundles, um, we're going to start talking about that now, no longer as a separate product by itself. So this is going to be typically a per CPU uh, option as far as licensing. Uh, first, we look at the vSphere Operations Management, or you might know it as vSOM, uh, which bundles your vSphere and your vRealize operations licensing together. This option is great for those that need to purchase both vSphere and vRealize operations licenses at the same time. vSOM um, gives the vSphere and vRealize licensing models um, or it matches them. So it comes in the three editions, standard, uh, enterprise, enterprise plus. There's also some vSOM acceleration kits, which combine six CPU licenses of vSOM as well as one license for vCenter standard. So that's a nice little bundle for people that are looking for vSphere licenses, operations management, as well as the vCenter to manage us, especially for maybe a new environment that you're standing up. So the uh, acceleration kits are pretty popular. And finally, there's an option for the existing customers uh, that already have their vSphere licenses but are looking to upgrade to vSphere with operations management as well. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes.
Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Then we have VRealize Operations Insight, or VROI, which contains the VROPS, or VRealize Operations, and VRealize Log Insight products together. Log Insight provides an easy way to manage your unstructured log data that is normally very, uh, very verbose and a lot to it, very difficult to sift through as a virtual admin. Uh, it is available on a per CPU license, and, and it is an add-on solution to any one of the uh, free VSOM editions that you purchase. On a side note, we realize Log Insight can be also be purchased as a standalone product as well. So continuing on, let's talk about larger bundles. So first we have the B-Class Suite, which is meant for your large enterprise customers that have a homogeneous vSphere environment and are looking to purchase vSphere licenses along with having a need for other management products like B-Realize Operations, B-Realize Business, B-Realize Automation, as well as Site Recovery Manager. B-Cloud Suite comes licensed per CPU and in three editions, Standard, Advanced, and Enterprise. Then we have the B-Realize Suite, which is very similar to B-Cloud Suite for those large customers wanting several of our management products, but they also have a very mixed environment or heterogeneous virtualized environment. So because of having a mixed environment, the B-Realize Suite does not contain these for licenses like the B-Cloud Suite does. The B-Realize Suite uh, is sold in two editions, both Advanced and Enterprise. It can be licensed per CPU for an on-premise private cloud and virtualized environment, or per OSI for public cloud and physical hardware workloads. So to sum up the differences between vCloud and vRealize suites, which a lot of people get confused on the differences, if the customer has only a homogeneous all vSphere environment, then you're going to want to talk to them about the vCloud suite. If they have a heterogeneous or mixed virtualized environment with vSphere and Citrix, for example, and are using various cloud instances such as vCloud Air and Amazon Web Services, then you'd want to talk to them about the vRealize suite in particular. So that completes the session on vRealize Operations 6 and its additions and different packaging options.